I, I think that's why I love coaching and teaching and training so much is because there are solutions to things. There are solutions to struggles. There's solutions to problems. There really are successes to be had. And it's so wild to watch how close people are to breakthroughs, to successes. They're just so close. So the secret I want to give you is this, is that the more you listen to what people are going through, their wins and their fails, the more you listen, you learn about one person's wins and fails, which then the next person you talk to you find out that the first person you talk to actually helped you dial in to the wins and the failures. So the next person you talk to, there's some similarities going on. And then the next person you talk to, they, they have a different life and different family and different people in their world, but they, there's some similarities. And so I find that the better I listen to what's going on, the more I am in on what's going on. I don't know how to, it's just interesting. It's like, it's like us as people are traveling through phases all together and we're all having different experiences, but they're, the struggles are similar and they shift and they move together with us. And so, I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but it's very interesting. So I, I've learned over the years is pay attention, not only in your coaching and mentoring appointments and not just to your kids and your friends, but notice how you could go to some, some family's uh, dinner and then you can hear things going on there. And then you have clients and then you have kids and then you have a spouse and then you got friends and it's like, wait a minute, there's some similarities of things that are going on. So my, my tip to you or my, my suggestion to you is when somebody's sharing a success story, ask them how they got the success. Because you, they usually talk about the success. Ask them, how did you get that success? And then if somebody is sharing a struggle, ask them, what they think added up to create that struggle. So the more you know how somebody's success happened and how somebody's struggle happened, the more you're gonna be ready and in tune to the next person. And then because you know those two people's experiences, it helps you with the next person. And then it just adds and adds and adds and adds. So I, I think it's super cool to see some common threads amongst us as people. It makes coaching and teaching less stressful because you don't need crazy way different answers for different people. There are common answers that help in so many different ways because we're all people. Okay, now I'm starting to get way off in the deep end here, but I think this is making sense is that I know you have a hustle bustle in your life. You're like, you're trying to hurry and do a bunch of things in your life, but listen to people, listen to their successes, ask them how they got there, listen to their struggle, ask them how they got there and let your brain just add stuff up from that person to this person, that person, that person it creates wisdom. I think that's what I'm trying to get to here, here is there's a lot of wisdom in listening to what's going on in people's lives. A lot of wisdom. And I always, always, always like to ask, so what do you think you're going to do to fix this? It's just so interesting. And, but I, I've just, there's been about five or six things that have happened in the last four days that were people that were completely different. They don't even know each other, but yet they pretty much all said the same thing. And it's like, what? <laughs> so crazy. 
but it's so cool to see how us as people are so connected. I, I think that's why I love coaching and teaching and training so much is because there are solutions to things. There are solutions to struggles. There's solutions to problems. There really are successes to be had. And it's so wild to watch how close people are to breakthroughs, to successes. They're just so close, so close. And I like being part of that last piece or that first piece to help them move to that success. So my, my tip to you is this week, listen to people. Listen to what's going on around you. It'll keep you in tune to what's going on. And, and okay, here's my last, and then we're going to do questions. Is My last part is, then when you're talking to somebody and they're having difficulties and you, and, and you say, oh, so hey, what do you think is going on? And they go, oh, I have no idea. Well, in the back of your head, you go, okay, wait a second. I've talked to five people so far. I wonder if it's one of those five that could be their struggle. So then you can lay out on the table, hey, is it this? Could you be having this struggle? And the person will usually say, whoa, yeah, that's kind of like that. And you're like, wait, wait, let me give you one more example. And then you pull from somebody else's life and you go, but you never say these other people's names. You just share the struggle and you go, oh, could you be struggling with this? And the person's like, whoa, yeah, that's getting super close. And it's like, wait a minute, I don't even have to come up with this stuff. I just pull from what I heard somebody else struggling with and somebody else, let me try one more. And you try one more. And then this person who was confused and they had no idea what their challenge was, you were able to call out what the challenge was. And they're like, how did you know this stuff? And here you were listening to others. My struggle is your struggle. Your struggle is my struggle. I really believe there's like this list of struggles and we've all got them. We just take different turns of being in different ones. And so if we figure out how to get through those struggles, well, when that struggle cycles back around, well, we could just work on that one again. Or somebody else, it's like, oh, you're in that struggle. Oh, that's number seven <laughs> or number nine. Oh, I can help you with that one. And it's, it's so wild. There's like this list and you listen to people and it comes down to this like list and, and it makes coaching and training fun because you know you can help them because you're listening and, and, you, and you get it. Okay, I gotta leave that. Now. I'm gonna leave that right there. So the part is just listen to the people around you. If somebody brings up a struggle, don't roll your eyes and check out. Tune in. Somebody shares a success story, don't roll your eyes and check out. Like really tune in. Like you got a success? How'd you do that? How'd you get to that point? Because that information helps you with the next person, and that person's struggle helps you with the next person. It just adds. It all adds together. It's so good.